Let us vote or we revolt. Let us vote or we revolt. Let us vote or we revolt. We're putting our brothers and sisters in jail for marijuana. We are oppressing our brothers and sisters when they cannot vote. On March 22nd, Helen Purcell lowered down the polling stations to number 60. When we had hundreds only several years before, Helen Purcell stepped down immediately. We should not have our votes stolen. Purcell must go. 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 She says she did nothing wrong. And when asked what happened on the 22nd, what did she say? It's the voters' fault. That's what Helen Purcell said. Who state? Let us vote or we revolt. Let us vote or we revolt. Let us vote or we revolt. Everyone is equal. We all have an equal right to vote. Our voice needs to be heard. We revolt. Let us vote. We revolt. Let us vote. We revolt. Let us vote or we revolt. Let us vote or we revolt. Let us vote or we revolt. Let us vote. I still don't know if my original ballot counted. I checked today. I got a nice screenshot, and it wasn't an April Fool's joke. It said, oh, I'm sorry, it's not connected. We can't give you a result. Error 404. Food, vote! Food, vote! Let us vote! Let us vote! Let us go! Help yourself! Must go! Help yourself! Must go! One person, one vote! One person, one vote! Gentlemen, for far too long and for far too many cycles, we've seen a lot of voter suppression and we've seen a lot of disenfranchised folks here in Maricopa County. This last election was just the straw that broke the camel's back. This is not an anomaly. If you look at statistics going back several years, we see voter registration increases by at least 9% in the entire state, except for Maricopa County, but we see a decrease in 3%. That means somebody is not letting us vote. And the problem that we have is that I think that the system is being rigged by people who are too lazy just to do their job. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We know that she was on the Appropriations Committee that took money away from elections. We know that she is part of the problem. My time in the United States Marine Corps will not have been spent in vain. I want to protect democracy. Yeah! Yeah! Helen Purcell is in charge of the election system, so it's kind of like putting the fox in charge of the hen house. So we, we have lots of video of the situation. The ACLU has been in contact with us. I want to introduce you to the hero of passive resistance in Arizona today, Jonathan McFadden! Yeah! Yeah! Uh, howdy, folks. Uh, I guess I'm, you know, John McRae, nice to meet you. I just want to say, uh, it was my first time at the Capitol that day, and uh, it was very uh, an, in an interesting day, I'll just say that. Uh, all at the same time, I was devastated by the way that I was uh, uh, just summarily treated uh, by the officials there uh, that day, you know, law enforcement and so forth. Um, back home, you know, I've had overall a very good relationship with law enforcement, uh, not so much at the Capitol. <laughs> um, but I want to say at the same time, I was just stunned and uh, shocked and awestruck by the response that uh, one of my friends here gave me and uh, what they have done for me and all of you. So thank you so much, my friends in Arizona. You're greatly appreciated. And honestly, this is more than, than, you know, this right here is just more than us alone. This has to do with all of Arizona and honestly our entire country.
politicians are afraid, are afraid this is going to grow. We want our extra day to vote again. Democracy failed on March 22nd of the year 2016 last week when people were made to stand in line for six or seven hours. Even if you yourself were one of the lucky ones in a neighborhood that didn't have that problem, there were many, many more people who could not vote. They had to go home to their children. They had to go home to their elderly parents. Elderly people were falling out of line. This is a story that our brothers and sisters in the low-income communities and the minority communities can tell us all about. In America, even if you have a home, even if you have a car, even if you have food in your stomach, if you have no vote, you have nothing. We just want our day to vote. We want to re-vote on June 7th. This is not about Republican Party. This is not about Democratic Party. This is about democracy. democracy. Your children have a right to vote. They have a right to vote. For too long, our brothers and sisters in the low income and the minority communities have been jailed for profit and they've had their votes stolen. Now we are all together. We must be unified. We must have our vote on June 7th, whether they like it or not. Yeah. 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 Yeah.